Congregation will continue in the Heidelberg Catechism, Lord's Day 3, in a moment, page 10. So we'll want to find that in the back section of our Psalter hymnal. But first this evening, back to the book of Genesis, and we're going to take up tonight chapter 3, Genesis chapter 3. As I indicated, if you got the email on Friday, and probably already know this, that Genesis is one of those, if we can say it, very significant books of the Bible. Of course, they're all significant, but if you get Genesis wrong, all of the rest of it is wrong. But if we begin well here, then the rest of it falls in line also. So we'll take up tonight chapter 3, the book of Genesis and consider it with the help that we'll notice from Lord's Day 3 in a moment. So, beloved, if you don't mind, follow along as we read here in Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat from fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. You will not surely die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye.